User-centered design, Schumacher-centered design, those are so important. When you ask professionals in the industry whether they apply user-centered design, and most of them might say, yes, we do. But when you actually observe what they work in the reality, then their focus is more tech-driven. So uh, we need more better tools, and the design road mapping was uh, initiated uh, with that kind of long-term motivation to help them out, to be more user-centered. At Sproutel, we make health and wellness playful. In my hands here is our first product. His name is Jerry the Bear, and he's a cute and comforting companion for children diagnosed with a chronic illness. What I find it most interesting to talk about isn't the product, but the process. The first thing that we did is we went and we talked to users. We talked to actual families. Most of your parents, they never heard about type 1 diabetes or they don't know how complex it is to manage type 1 diabetes. You know, I can imagine all of us had teddy bears or plush animals growing up. These kids have their plush animals and they're playing with their, their friends and we have seen something really interesting. What we have seen was that kids were giving injections to their teddy bear. Kids were stapling a drawing of a pump and stapling onto their fur. Kids were portraying what they're going through to this teddy bear to have a companion who are just like them. And so we asked ourselves whether we could bring that experience to life and whether we could do it in a way that was educational. When I visited their office, there are 16 members. I brought um, the actual implementation cases from large multinational corporations and other small startup companies as an example for them to learn how to implement this model uh, to their business. I built five different steps. In step one, this is stage you go outside and collect all the information from users. In step two, you are identifying what will be opportunity you can uh, initiate and then continue working on, including identifying user needs and core user experiences and also outcomes. In the step three, you need to identify what kind of technology you could bring in in order to develop such amazing experiences, user needs, and outcomes defined in the previous stage. In step four, you finally map your project into design principles defined in the previous stage. You may have more than one project uh, at the same time. Then this is critical because it will help you to prioritize which project you will focus on over and over, and then which one should not be. And then finally, in step five, this is stage you will create design roadmap. This is stage we will explore different concepts over different phases from near term, mid term, and long term in order to identify the vision you want to achieve uh, in the future. I really hope Jerry can inspire and fuel the vision of making health a less of a scary experience, but an empowering experience for all people to get excited to get on board.